Week 1. Introduction to Logistics. Class 2. Who is who in Logistics? Press Start to continue. Working in Logistics, we meet with a lot of people who more or less participate in arranging transportation. So let's talk about the main characters involved in almost all the logistic processes. To classify these people, I would like to turn your attention to the table on the slide where all the participants are divided into three columns. The first column presents people who are somehow connected with selling the cargo at the point of origin and sending it to a client. The second column is about people who are involved in transportation itself and the third one represents those who receive the cargo. Let's look at the first column first. Usually, each transportation starts with buying the goods you need. So there is a seller or vendor of the cargo on the one end and the buyer on the other. Both seller and vendor are продавец. But what is the difference? When this audio is finished, click on the link under those terms to find out the difference if you don't know it. Also, we can call our seller or vendor a supplier which is more поставщик. Sometimes, and in some documents, we can call our seller as грузовладелец. So here comes the word cargo owner or freight owner. There are three words we can use when we want to say грузоотправитель. Shipper, consigner with E at the end, and consigner with O. All of them are quite similar, but you can check the slight difference if you click on the link under those words. Now I would like to miss the second column and come to the third one, where we speak about the person who receives our cargo. So as I told before, if there is a seller on the one end, there is a buyer on the other. So the buyer means покупатель. How else can we call our buyer? A customer, of course. Check the difference between the buyer and the customer by clicking on the link below these words. There is another word similar to the word customer, consumer, which means потребитель. And what about more logistic word, грузополучатель? In English, we call this person consignee. Do not mix with the consigner, the person who sends the cargo. And now, let's move to some very important participants of the transportation itself and its stages from the middle column. Carrier is the person or company which undertakes the transportation of goods. Перевозчик. We also have another word with a similar meaning, holie which usually relates to road and rail transport. You can check more difference between these two terms by clicking on the link under them. Freight forwarder is a person, a company that organizes shipments for individuals or corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market, customer or final port of distribution. In Russia, this person is called expeditor. Cargo agent this term means грузовой agent, and this person makes sure that shipments are picked up and delivered on time. Paperwork is completed and fees are collected. For logistics managers who deal with import-export operations, a customs broker might be an important person to know. So customs broker is a professional agent who prepares and submits all documents for clearing goods for customs. Таможенный агент, таможенный брокер. Of course, not all the participants are covered in this table, just the main ones. You can continue working with this slide and check the difference between some of the terms, hover your mouse over the words to see their meaning, or just memorize the new words, or you can press next to start the quiz on the new terms. So what is the difference between a seller and a vendor? Basically, these words are very similar and are interchangeable but have a little difference. 
Let's look at the table to see the difference between two terms. First of all, a vendor is usually considered as the one that supplies the products, usually at wholesale prices, while the seller is the reseller or retailer that sells the product at market prices. Also, a vendor is more legal term, you will find it used in contracts. A seller is the usual word used in everyday language. Click Exit to return to the previous slide. What is the difference between hauler and carrier? They basically mean the same, перевозчик, or the company which transports the goods. But usually, hauler refers to two particular types of transport, road and rail. Also, hauler doesn't transport any small packages, while carrier transports all the amounts of cargo. Press exit to return to the previous slide. What is the difference between a buyer and a customer? The buyer is usually a person who already bought something from your company while a customer could be the one who is just asking for the price and making the decision on whether to buy your product or not. The customer in this case is more similar to the word client who can be potential. Also customers could be loyal if they come to you again and again. Please press exit to return to the previous slide. First, let's look at the difference between a consigner with O and consigner with E. Consigner with O is the person who sends a consignment to consignee while consigner with E is usually considered a party that provides goods for consignment sale. And what's the difference between a consigner and shipper? They are practically the same and mean the person who sends the shipment or consignment to be delivered by any means of transport. The first very slight difference is that consigner is more legal term and will be more likely used in the contract and in the possible legal dispute. Also, consigner can be a seller who sells the goods in a domestic market, while if a consignment is moved to a foreign country, the consigner usually acts as a shipper. But you can use both words interchangeably, since practically they mean the same. We are ready to start the quiz. Please answer each question and submit your answer to proceed to next question. Congratulations, you've passed the second class.